This is the highly anticipated landing of Chandrayaan-3 in less than 30 hours away. And with this, the lander clicked the very latest image of the moon, wherein the craters can clearly be seen. The photograph is just 70 kilometers from the moon. Mr. Chairperson says the mission is on track and system is undergoing regular checks to ensure smooth sailing of the spacecraft. But a top Mr. scientist says that there is a plan B in works too. Nilesh M. Desai, Director of Space Applications Center, ISRO, has said that landing of Chandrayaan-3 can be shifted to the 27th of August if there is any factor regarding the lander module appearing to be unfavorable. As per ISRO, the lander module carrying Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover is expected to land on the moon around six, four minutes past six tomorrow. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. क्या भारत ऐसा पहला विश्व का देश बनने वाला है जो मून के साउथ की तरफ लैंडिंग करेगा और ये ही जो एरिया है इसको क्यों चुना है वैज्ञानिकों ने जैसा कि आपको पता है कि अभी तक के जो भी लैंडिंग मिशन हुए हैं अमेरिका द्वारा या चाइना द्वारा या रशिया द्वारा वो सब लैंडिंग मिशन चंद्र की जो विश्ववत वृत्त है इक्वेटर है वहाँ पे हुए हैं और वहाँ की जमीन क्योंकि लगभग सीधी जमीन है जैसे कि मरुस्थल में होती है कि उसमें कोई उबड़ खाबड़ वो नहीं है गड्ढे नहीं है या उसमें ऊंचे पर्वत जैसे कोई वो नहीं है पड़ाव नहीं है तो उस इस कारण से वो जमीन जनरली लोग प्रिफर करते हैं कि ऐसी जमीन पर अगर उतरना काफी आसान रहता है हमको प्रयत्न कम करने पड़ते पर हमारे वैज्ञानिकों का मंतव्य था पिछली बार भी हम चंद्रयान टू में भी वही उद्देश्य था और इस बार भी उसी पे कायम रहते हुए हमारे वैज्ञानिकों का कहना है कि अगर हमको रियल एक्सपेरिमेंट अगर करने हैं तो चंद विश्वत वृत्त पे तो कई लोग जा चुके हैं कई मिशन जा चुके हैं हम इस बार साउथ पोल पे जाते हैं दक्षिण ध्रुव पे जहाँ की जमीन तो एक तो हेजार्डस है ही क्योंकि वहाँ पे क्रेटर्स और बोल्डर्स जो कि चंद्र की एक विशेषता है बहुत बड़े गड्ढे भी है और ऊंचे ऊंचे बड़े बड़े पत्थर भी हैं तो ऐसी जमीन पे जाके और वहां पे क्योंकि संभावना ये है कि वहां पे हाइड्रोक्सिल मॉलिक्यूल या वाटर मॉलिक्यूल होने की संभावना ज्यादा है क्योंकि वहां पे वो चंद्र का दूर का भाग है जहाँ पे ये संभावना होती है कि जो पानी अगर था पहले तो वो प्रिजर्व हुआ होगा कुछ अलग अलग फॉर्म में तो वहां पे जाके अगर हम प्रशिक्षण करें एक्सपेरिमेंट करें तो हमको और भी वहां से वैज्ञानिक माहिति मिल सकती है तो वो सब को देखते हुए हमने साउथ पोल यानी कि दक्षिण ध्रुव विस्तार पसंद किया है जहाँ पे हम हमारा लैंडर उतारने का प्रयास करेंगे बेसिकली चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन ऑब्जेक्टिव टू सॉफ्ट लैंड इन द सदर्न रीजियन ऑफ द पोल सदर्न पोलर रीजियन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑल्सो टू का that uh, in situ experiments there so that it will be the science will be used for that uh, uh, the global scientific community for uh, discovering some many new things this is a with this objective that is chandrayaan 3 was configured which is which is similar to chandrayaan 2 this one what the thing is except that the orbiter in the chandrayaan 2 is replaced by a propulsion module here Otherwise, it is almost the same as what uh, have flown in the Chandrayaan 2. The speed is brought down to a few hundred meters per second. From then onwards, then an orientation is corrected, and after that, uh, further sp uh, speed is re reduced, and then various sensors and the cameras uh, come into action, and that's how, uh, that is to make sure that the descent is uh, as expected and as prescribed. How will they be preparing to ensure a very smooth, soft landing? As we know that uh, the Chandrayaan-3 uh, lander is in the orbit around the moon in an orbital uh, size of about 25 by 150 kilometers. So uh, at, uh, that means uh, it will be near to the moon at the point uh, just 25 kilometers away from the surface. So from this stage, uh, here in this uh, orbit, uh, ISRO will make all the observations that is necessary to confirm that everything is working fine. And uh, once the lander is stabilized in this orbit, and it will check all the parameters and see whether it is ready for the next major important step. 
So the next major important step is the uh, soft landing of the Ch Chandrayaan lander. There's some talk, sir, uh, Dr. Anand, of uh, a plan B that's being put in place by ISRO, uh, that they could change the landing date, that they've identified about 400 kilometers of space in the South Pole. What is all that about? What is this plan B and when does it come into effect? I, I don't have any information about the, uh, the plan B, but actually uh, it is an automated uh, system that will take care of when actually the landing will take place. And uh, aborting a thing will be very, very, very sensitive thing. So I don't think that will be taken uh, into consideration. But as far as I, as I know, uh, the automotive, automated uh, mission or automated control that the, it has, so that will see that it will choose its own uh, place where actually it is very, very safe for lander to land. एक बहुत बड़ा इतिहास भारत के सभी विशेषज्ञों ने हमारे वैज्ञानिकों ने रचा है और प्रधानमंत्री जी के नेतृत्व में भारत नई ऊंचाइयां तो छू ही रहा था भारत का तिरंगा केवल देश के अंदर नहीं लेकिन विश्व पटल पर पर अब हमारी यही कोशिश है कि वो तिरंगा चांद पे भी गाड़ के रखा जाए Sagar Raj is getting us more details on that big story that we're tracking from Nehru Planetarium in Bengaluru city. Sagar, talk to us about the kind of excitement that you see really in the air, given that the first pictures, now in fact not the first, but the pictures have been released from a closer altitude of about 70 kilometers by ISTRO just some time ago. Talk to us about what really uh, is the kind of excitement that you see around here. Bengaluru and they have already put out a video representation yes. of uh, a Chandrayaan 3 video, how it is going to land and all those things. And apart from that, you also get to see a model, a model of... See a model, a model of a moon surface which is there here where public can see here and this is a moon surface uh, which has been put here and you can also see uh, the propulsion model as well as uh, lander and rover and there is also an expert here who is briefing all the media personals and he will also explain to the general public the, uh, the Chandrayaan 3 will take to land and all those things the entire country is excited even the Bengalurians are excited people might come here tomorrow to get the live pictures of uh, the landing